Hi guys, I'm Natalie Gonzalez and I'm here at Hammer Fitness Headquarters with Ammer the Hammer. So, I have a question for Ammer since he's so excellent at training his athletes. I want some uh, built up shoulders, so what can I do here, Hammer? Okay, so with a lot of women, I find that they work their traps too much, right? When they're doing shoulders. So when you're doing your side raises, side lateral raises, do you find you use your traps or not really? Actually, I do. Okay, yeah. so you do. So I think the shoulder side raise is probably one of the best exercises because when you're doing your presses, you're using a lot of your tricep as well. And there's a lot more room for air, right? So if we're setting up your shoulder side raises correctly, you're gonna use your shoulder more than likely and maybe your traps. So we're gonna set you up in a proper position so that you use your shoulders and eliminate the trap from it. So grab any weight that you're comfortable using. Okay, let's do this. Whatever you want. So do you think that I should push my limits with a heavier weight or should I try with something that's lighter and work my way out? Push your limits, let's see. I wanna see what your limits are. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I'm just gonna be conservative and I'm gonna go with the 10s okay. right now. Okay, close to your limit. <laughs> Go. Okay. So we'll break it down and see what we can do better if you need anything done better in the movement. Okay, so right away I can see that you're pulling with your traps, right? So this is pulling inward. So we want to get rid of that. And the way we get rid of that, because the muscle fiber of the traps go this way. That's the direction of the fiber. So whatever direction the weight is going, it's going to take whatever's along the way with you, right? So you don't have to you know, think of any mind to muscle connection or anything like that. You just have to put the weight in a position, in an advantageous position where nothing else can work. So we're gonna inhibit this from working. So relax for a sec. Internally rotate, kind of just, yeah, protract. Now raise it up. And just by doing that, we got less trap, but you're still getting some of your trap in it. So move inward more. There, now go. Good, that's even better. What I would probably get you to do, just because you're a bit more dominant on your trap, is lean forward now. That way you're completely out of the plane and it can't do any work. So lean forward, now round out at the same time. Good, much better. Okay, now as you're coming up, the weight is getting heavier because it's further away. So it's gonna be harder and harder to contract in that top range. So we have this natural tendency to wanna just launch the weight up because we're stronger down here and the weight is lighter down here. So we just throw it up and then try to catch it. So I want you to be more cognizant of that and go slower into the top of the range. Okay. And I want you to look for where the range ends. So go to the point where you can't contract anymore. Just go right up and look for where the contraction ends where you're almost cramping that muscle. Good. So also what I'd like to see is your hand lower than your elbow. Because if your hand's higher than your elbow, something else brought you there. It's something back here that would have done that. Good, that's much better. Now go up, don't spend any time at the bottom because there's no torque there, so there's nothing going on there. So it's not any challenge to the muscle, right? We want to stay in a range where there's challenge to the muscle. Good, keep going. Up, slow down. Make sure the velocity is consistent. So it's not fast, slow, slow, fast, launch, down. It's just consistent, okay. start to finish, okay? Everything else is very Should good. Should I try though. it later weight then? No, I would go with that. I think you're definitely strong enough. Good. Good. So round out, keep that shoulder blades rounded. Good. Good, keep going. Try to get your elbow higher than your hand, okay? So think about this, rest all the weight on my hand. Rest all your weight right now onto, okay. onto me, onto my arms. Let go, yeah, completely. That's what it should feel like. You're pulling this up. You're not trying to pull this up. The weight is, your hand is just holding the weight. Otherwise, it's doing nothing in the equation, right? Because right? if you have tension here, this is all gonna take, this, you're gonna use this to try to come up. So that's why I have such strong forearms. Probably, or maybe okay. other things, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Go. Okay. I lost my concentration. Uh, that effect, right? <laughs> Good. Good. So just try to stay relaxed from the elbow down. That's gonna that's gonna help you a lot because then you're gonna be more mindful of the muscle you're actually working with. So I actually feel it down my back. Okay, so you're leaning forward, and as a result of that, the weight's getting heavier because right. when you lean forward, you create something called a moment arm to your back. So what I would do with someone like you in that situation is I'd get you to lean on a bench, on an okay. incline bench. So you can come here. Lean on this bench, All right. face down. Yep, yeah, face down. Good, now do the same thing. Good. 
back out of the equation? Yes. Right, so there's a solution to every problem, right? And you just need to understand what the problem is and then reverse engineer it. Good. That's a lot better because now the trap is doing very minimal work compared to before. Good, keep going. I want you to go to the point and experience true failure. I want you to know what that feels like because that's very important that everyone feels that and understands when they actually get to their limit, right? And the reason why we're going to failure is to experience what true fatigue is so that we know what your threshold is, whatever your muscle can tolerate. Keep going, go. Keep going, good, nice. You got more in you, let's go. Good, take your time, go. You got at least eight in you. Seven, nice. Don't launch it up, try to contract it up, go slow. Even if you can't get it up, I'm fine with that, but just try to go slow. Nice, good, that was better, go again. Nice, good, get a few more. Two more, go up. One more. And good, relax. You can just drop the weight and stay in that position. So, what I want to show you guys is something very quick. Come over here. If we look, the fibers of the lat are going, of the trap are going this way, and now her arm's going this way. So they're going in a perpendicular direction, meaning the trap has no mechanical advantage to do any work to pull the arm up anymore, and that's how we inhibit this from doing work. What's your question? Did I hit your foot with the weight? No, don't worry about Okay. <laughs> I'm strong enough, don't worry. Is that your only question? That was it. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> good? Yeah. All right guys, so there's a tip on how to use your shoulders instead of your trap in the shoulder side lateral raise. Thank you so much, Hammer.